Hey everybody, welcome back to Gray County Grillin'. I'm Chris, and today we are going to do some beef short ribs in the Big Easy. Before we get to that though, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Stick around, these are gonna turn out awesome. So here are the beef short ribs that we are going to be doing in the Big Easy today. And for seasoning, we are just going to use Suckle Busters SPG Salt Pepper Garlic. Nothing fancy, something nice and simple. And we just want to make sure that we get good coating on all sides. All right, I'm just gonna finish this up. We'll get them ready to go. Go get the Big Easy started up, and we'll be right back. So I thought before I took it out to the Big Easy, got it all started up, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna have it set up once we get it in the cooker. Decided to use the shish kebab rack that I've got for the Big Easy. I figure that's just going to be an easier way to have the ribs standing up without being too close to the edge using the rib racks or the rib hooks rather so i think this is going to help uh stabilize it and keep it a little uh, a little neater inside the cooker so we'll just see how easily this works and eh, a little bit of difficulty at first So I would like to keep that inside the meat if possible. There. So just kind of like that without losing the skewer totally inside it. There we go, that's one. The second one we'll see if that goes just as easily or if it's going to be much the same oh and that one actually worked really well and then this last one just like that and that's how we're going to cook them inside the big easy so i've got the big easy started and i have dropped the ribs in already you can kind of see them down there a little bit. Threw the lid on right away, right off the bat, because again, it is pretty cold out here. Uh, and as you can see, we're uh, filming in the garage once again. But uh, I think I'm going to cook these kind of like I would a brisket and bring them to about uh, 190-ish degrees before I pull them out and let them rest for a bit. Uh, we're actually going to take them over to our friends Joe and Tiffany's house for dinner tonight, but hopefully we will get them done before, so we can kind of get a little bit of a taste in before we wrap them up and take them over. Uh, yeah, we will see how things go. I'll check back in in a little it's bit. It's been on for about a half an hour now, and they are cooking pretty quick. What I'm going to do is take the lid off. I had the lid on because I was worried about it being so cold, but they are cooking awful fast. I want to make sure that the outside doesn't burn or anything. So we'll take the lid off and let it go for a little bit and see how they turn out. We're about one hour in now and they are probing between 150 and 160 right now, which I think is pretty darn good pull these up to get a good look at them and you can see we've got some great pullback from the bones already they are looking awesome and they are smelling even better 
I would say probably about another hour left. And I should be able to get them up to about 190. We'll pull them out, give them a little taste, wrap them up, and then they are off to our friend's house for dinner. We have reached 190 internal temperature on uh, at least one of these. So I'm just going to probe. Just check for tenderness on these. And the probe is going in pretty easy on these guys. Oh yeah. So I think, I think we're done. We're gonna pull these out, take them in, let them rest for a little bit, give one a try, and then that's it. Here is one of the racks of short ribs, all done. It's sat and rested for a few minutes, so we'll cut in and give it a taste. Oh, the knife went through that pretty easy. So well, that's what she looks like on the inside. Pretty good. Cut a little chunk off to try. Well, that tasted pretty good. No smoke flavor, obviously, because it was in the Big Easy, but the inside is so tender, uh, not dried out at all, it's pretty juicy, and the rub on the outside tastes perfect. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, and then ring the bell next to it, to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.